Hello my lovely students welcome to new session I am AK Murthy wizard of the science in this session today in this session we will talk about chapter 1 of class 7 that is nutrition in plants so let's begin is essential for all living organisms nutrition or nutrients like carbohydrates vitamins fats proteins minerals are very necessary for the survival for body all organisms requires food for their survival for example plants humans animals etc but the mode of nutrition in each organism is different from one another in this chapter we learn learn about first is nutrition second the mode of nutrition third autotrophic nutrition fourth is heterotrophic nutrition and fifth is other mode of nutrition in plants guys let us understand the mode of nutrition in plants the first term in this chapter is nutrition we can see it on the screen the what does the word nutrition means it is the mode of taking food by an organism and utilization by the body is called as nutrition see there are two types of nutrition generally they are called as autotrophic nutrition and heterotrophic nutrition now the word what is nutrition is generally taking consuming of food for the body requirement is called as nutrition there are two types of nutrition autotrophs and heterotrophs let us understand about the autotroph nutrition in the next part here we can see what is autotrophic nutrition is the mode of nutrition in which organism make food by themselves by using simple substances is called as autotrophic nutrition the word autotrophs ya fir the auto itself says self and the trophs is nothing but nourishment the organisms which are capable of making or preparing their own food by using simple substances like sunlight and carbon dioxide comes under the category of autotrophs see we also prepare our own food then you may say that we are autotrophs no we are not autotrophs because we depend upon other organisms for food for example we depend upon plants for vegetables milk and other resources for the animals so we are not considered as autotrophs then what we are considered as we are considered as heterotrophs we can see it on the screen what does heterotrophs means the mode of nutrition in which organisms do not make their own food and depends upon the other organisms are called as heterotrophs for examples human beings animals etc the word heterotrophs in which hetero means others and trophos means nourishment so we can now we can can clearly say that what is autotroph and what is a heterotroph is now let us ask me question how do plants prepare its food so next part will make you understand how does a plant prepare its food the question is very simple as we know plants are autotrophs but actually how do a plant prepare its food <laughs> answer is very simple guys plants prepare its food by the help of photosynthesis guys we can see what photosynthesis is we have learned it in the previous classes so the word photo is nothing but light whereas synthesis is nothing but preparation of food see we have learned in the classes also what does the photosynthesis means the preparation of food in the presence of sunlight with the help of carbon dioxide chlorophyll and water is called photosynthesis the process in this process very simple things are required that is sunlight carbon dioxide chlorophyll and water plants take water from what roots that is from the soil and plants consume carbon dioxide from the stomata which are present on the leaf part of the uh, leaf part at the back side of the leaf when the opening and the closing of the stomata takes place the exchange of gases like co2 that is carbon dioxide and oxygen takes place due to this plant get carbon dioxide during the process of photosynthesis even the plant leaves have a chlorophyll in it when the when the chlorophyll is exposed to the uh, plant and when they consume water and carbon dioxide the plant prepare carbohydrates and oxygen right 
so by this the plant prepares its food the prepared food is stored in the leaf itself that's why the leaves are co called as storage or food storage of the plants now let us talk about other modes of nutrition in plants what are the other modes of nutrition in plants first of all it is insectivorous plants saprophytes parasites symbiotic relationship so sabse pehle ya fir we can say the first guys let us talk about insectivorous plants the plants which depend upon other living organisms for food just like insects and small birds are called are called as insectivorous plants the best example for this is pitcher plant and venus fly trap plant what happens generally these plants do not have chlorophyll in them by which we, they cannot make a photosynthesis and which which by which they cannot prepare their food now these plants what they do they depend upon other living organisms whenever a fly or a bee sits on a venus fly trap plant it closes and some kinds of enzymes are released from this plants which digest this insects and nutrients are supplied to the body this in this part also we can see how the venus fly trap is consuming the bees so let us understand about the next thing now comes the parasitic plant the plant called cascata it do not have chlorophyll in it it takes ready made food from the plants on which it climbs we can see it on the screen also the plant is trying to climb it upside the tree and later on what will happen it will make a bushy area and umbrella on a tree and these plants what have what they do they do not have chlorophyll so what they do they, they drain out all the nutrients which are prepared by the green plants and they consume it by themselves see the plant on which it climbs is called as host since it is taking the nutrition of the host then this plant is called as parasitic plant so let us go for the next plant that is saprophytic nutrition okay the plants which depend upon dead and decaying organisms remember the word dead and decaying organisms are called as saprophytic plants for this we can give the best examples as mushrooms and the bread molds generally whenever we keep exposed breads so what we can see so after some time we can see the some uh, cottony growth on the breads just like this which you can see it on the video these are called as bread molds they are generally saprophytes this depends upon dead and decaying organisms so the please now we can understand what will happen when we keep the bread open why the green part or the grayish part is grown on the uh, what we say bread it is because of the saprophytes they depend upon dead day and decaying don't consume these kinds of bread because these are very dangerous for our body last part is symbiotic relationship some organisms live together and share the shelter and nutrients these kinds of relationship is called a symbiotic relationship best example for this is lichens you can see it on the image this lichen plants generally grow with the other plants they share nutrients and what we say shelter with each other by which by which they gain uh, the both the plants will gain uh, profit and loss as well so that's why they are called a symbiotic relationship i think everyone is clear with all the points okay my lovely students here ends our chapter if you have any doubts please comment for more videos subscribe to vidyastra and press bell not notification so whenever we post a new video it reaches you first and don't forget to like and share